Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you on how we can simply use DocuSign. DocuSign is an amazing program, really simple program that you can use for a signature. So the first thing that you want to do guys is just simply click on the top right and free trial. Now guys, if you already created an account, just completely skip this step. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I will add a first name and a last name here. So I'll add Marcus Stanelius. Here I will go with email and I created my disposal now. So I'll just refresh it. And I'll just paste it right there. Copy. Phone. Job title CEO and industry. Let's say I'm in technology. Get started. And here you got it company. So company, I would write Sunway. company size, I'm zero to five employees. Reason for trial, I'm developer, or I just need to, you choose yours. Do you need integrations? I don't need them, but if you just press yes, country, Slovakia, I agree. And I'm not a robot, create account. And I will show you exactly what to do and how we can use it. Now I'll just wait for DocuSign right here, account activation, and I will activate it. Now I'll add my password. Activate. And here you got it. Start with document, upload a PDF, Word, Excel, get signatures, keep it all in one place. Start now. So in a moment, when we come here, guys, uh, we are getting to how we can like upload the documents and upload it or just click plus here and add it. But right before that, I just want to show you around. I'm going to discard it because I just want to show you what you can actually find in DocuSign and then I will show you how we can add documents. Okay. So when you would click on the DocuSign right here on home on the top left, you would be uh, here and you're going to see your profile photo that you can change. You can create a signature. I recommend doing it right now. So I'm going to, you can choose it or draw it. So I'm going to draw it because I don't like these and I'm going to do it like this clear. So this is something that I recommend doing first to create your own signature or you can also upload it. So that's completely up to you. So that's what we can do and let's press create. And okay, we got our own DocuSign right here, our signature. Here you can drop your documents. When we would click on a manage, in manage, I can click simply start now. And I would be again in add documents. So this is something where we will go. Then you can click on templates. If you want to, you can create template uh, out of your document or you can create template and then just like send it to people. So that's something you can do. Then we got reports here. You're helping us save. And you see right here the type of annual report. And you would have reports here and then settings. Now in the settings menu, and this is something that I want to show you how you can find. Uh, this is something that I recommend like doing always at the first check out the setting optimize things and go further account profile you can change the account name admin custom message display a notice to all account users so account address you can change it right here so that's something that i would recommend definitely to do then security settings you can also have some security here Brands. You can also add a brand here. 
and then you're gonna see like signing settings here and these are like important here like for the recipients allow senders to all right sign on paper allow recipients to sign on paper allow recipients to edit documents this is something that i don't recommend to have on and you can really just change the settings here for signing your current date format this is important current time format Let's say I'm going to like this one here. Add a DocuSign frame. Or you don't want to add a frame. That's again up to you. Envelope delivery. Attach a certificate. Send completion emails. Now when we go even further, we're going to have the sending settings here. You can enable auto-tagging for senders. When an envelope is sent, write the initial value. Again, you can set up all these settings. This is really up to you and up to what you want from DocuSign. Document retention. Now we can enable a document retention policy after an envelope is completed, voided or declined. How many days should DocuSign keep the documents before sending them to Perch? You can have 10 days. My competition got it like 60 days on average or 30. Legal disclosure. and reminders and expiration so this is something that i would definitely recommend to have two for reminder days before sending the first reminder let's go five days between reminders then you can also expiration days before request requires 120 so you can have also reminders and comments enable comments in envelope sent from this account so this is how you set up the settings and this is something that I would definitely recommend that you get like integrations here and that's pretty much it how we do it. Now let's go to further and let's see how we can actually sign a document. So I will click here on DocuSign signature. Home. And let's wait until it loads. And you can always start with this way that you would click drop documents here to get started start now and we are always getting added right here so i'm going to you can click upload here or you can use a template when i would click on a template you would see my templates or templates favorites or selected or just like uploaded and now i'm going to add documents and I'll just upload some document right here that I have let me just show you and let me just like find something straight away Like let's say this one here i have pdf this is just for like tutorial i have a paper now in the moment when you're gonna have your document you need to have recipients here so i'm going to add a name and let's say it's going to be marcus client and email address is going to be and we will also sign it so you can see how it looks like needs to sign in person signer receives a copy so i'm going to do uh, needs to sign and you can also add access code and then you click next you can also add more recipients now in the moment when you have it this is like our document and let's say that we want to have signature and i'm going to show you what you can actually do here so first thing first on the left side you would see the standard fields as a signature initial stamp date signed Right before that, when you would go to the top left above, you would see Marcus Klein here. That who needs to sign those things. Of course, I can simply click signature or just grab it and paste it. Then well, I can click on it and on the right side I can see formatting, date label, tooltip, location. What I can do then? is to add also name here as a full name and then you're gonna see 
like date signed. Also, let's add that. You can add like company, title, checkbox, drop down, text here. And in the text, I could always write something. Sign here. And move it like this. And on the right side, you can see the text. You can change the formatting and everything. Always, right? So this really like up to you how you optimize it and how you change things. If you can have multiple clients, you can simply switch and then those colors here would change. Then you see that you got drawing formula attachment note approve decline. So I can simply come here and click on a drawing. And I can have a text here again. And I would be draw draw a smile elephant that's going to be a challenge and then i can have a note here or approve decline or checkbox see so this is pretty much it how you use it it's really straightforward really simple right under the standard fields i would have custom fields and i can add my own custom field And then I have pre-fill tools like line here. See, and I can go on the right side, change the recipient, color, thickness and length. So that's how we do it. You can, of course, like copy things. When you would go above, you can undo. You see that you can copy things. You can zoom out, zoom in, add a comment and enable auto tagging. So add fields for me without tagging. This is something that you can have on or off. Now, again, as I mentioned, you got plenty of options that you can use. And when you have it, and when we have how it's going to look like, we can go further and click next on the bottom right. Here, I'm going to add message to recipients. Please docusign new form. This is the email subject, email message, sign it. And you see it right here. So this is the email subject and email message. On the right side, you see the documents and recipients needs to sign. And then I would like, you can also send automatic reminders every two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days. And then click send. Also, right before that, next to the summary, you would see options and you see like the expiration here. Envelope expires on. 120 days from now and recipients privileges allow recipients to change the signing responsibility and you would click send sending right now and now we got it right so i will check the email but of course you can always do it like this and let's go again let me show you And let's say I'm going to show you next and you're going to see recipients here and needs to sign right near the sender. And you can, of course, add a recipient. So. And what you can do is let's go to Gmail and let me show you how you can sign it then. How it actually looks like when you send it to someone. Look at this. So review document. And here I have it. Sign it. Please read the I agree. Continue. And look at this. And I'm going to add up new. Marcus Klein, draw. Add up and sign. Look at this. This is the date. Draw an elephant. And I would draw an elephant here. Throw oh, man. Oh, this is tough.
Uh, Bro, I don't know if that looks like an elephant, but... Uh, I mean, I got no idea what this is, man. No, it's a leg behind the leg or something like that. I don't know. So this is how you do it. And I would like upload it or like save it. And this is the elephant. And then I have like text that I can add here. And I can finish it. No text. You're all done. And now when I would go back here. I can simply click on reports next to the templates and as you can see we got the envelope status one total completed completion rate 100 percent and we're good to go so this is pretty much it guys how we can use docusign if you can have any questions ask me down in the comments of course you can next to the reports see templates here you can create a template and you can upload it and also then like use it all the time so this was a docusign tutorial docusign beginners guide how to use docusign docusign for beginners docusign docusign 2022 docusign how to use docusign how to add document and docusign tutorial thank you very much and goodbye see ya